there's the images of uh, Boris Johnson and his wife arriving at St Paul's for the Jubilee celebrations. Booze very, very clearly uh, coming from the crowd, but he walked through it. Um, where is the confidence level in Boris at the moment? We could also hear just a few cheers there, couldn't we, Manus? Booze, definitely. A few cheers. And it's also important to say that we did have booze, but we don't know if that crowd represents the whole country at the moment so we just have to see how that does go and also i don't know if you remember all the way back in 2012 when we had the olympics right here in london george osborne was booed but then the tories went on to win that True. next election so we just have to see what happens from here but confidence in boris johnson according to these sources that have been speaking to bloomberg does appear to be low at the moment and he's saying that he could face a confidence vote really as soon as this week but the truth is we just don't know it's all speculative because only Graham Brady who is the head of the 1922 committee actually knows how many letters of confidence into the Prime Minister have been submitted and we know that 54 letters have to be submitted to Graham Brady in order to spark this confidence vote but we do know one thing for sure these letters are ticking up and the numbers of them are too and many MPs asking themselves whether Johnson can lead them through the next election. Um, but how will the Conservatives fare? Because we've got this upcoming by-election, which could be more important than the theatre of the steps of St Paul's. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. So these upcoming by-elections are happening on June the 23rd. So not too far away, really, 20 days or so. And what's interesting, Manis, is really we've seen the polling from these, and the polling is not good. So one of the seats is Wakefield, and that was um, one of the seats in 2019 that the Tories did steal from Labour. So really breaking down that red wall. But we do now see in the polling that that seat looks to go back to Labour. There's also another one in Tiverton and Honiton on the very same day so two by-elections happening and that looks to be going to the Liberal Democrats and remember Conservatives really put Boris Johnson at the forefront of the party because he could win elections because he could win votes now they would be coming back to Parliament today mm. and Downing Street after being away for recess and really thinking is he the guy to lead us in the future Absolutely, absolutely. And tell, tell me, Leanne, did you, did you have any Victoria sponge cake at the weekend? Did you celebrate the Jubilee? Can I tell you something? All I did was tell absolutely loved the atmosphere all around London. And if there's a vegan Victoria sponge cake anyone can suggest, I'll catch up on eating it the rest of the week, Manners. <laughs> Very good. Get out there and box. Lose, lose those Victoria sponge pads. Okay, Leanne, thank you very much. We'll see you through the morning.